lecture uh, we will discuss about this exploratory research design or this qualitative what is this qualitative research design as we have already discussed about the exploratory descriptive and causal now we will discuss in detail like how will you conduct this exploratory research if if your research is if you are doing some study which is based on your exploratory study or which is based on uh, your exploratory uh, type of research design or, or if you are using this exploratory research design then how will you proceed or how will you conduct your study so uh, basically uh, when you conduct this or when you are using this exploratory type of research design then that research design is basically qualitative in nature but whenever you perform or whenever you are using the descriptive or whenever you are using the causal research design then in that case you uh, the data you will collect or the type of research that you will conduct it will be of quantitative so when exploratory research design is used it, it will be qualitative when descriptive and causal research design is used then it it will always be a quantitative now what is qualitative and quantitative when your data or uh, when whatever study you are doing whatever data you are collected if it is if it, it it is in quantity or if it contains some number like 1 2 5 8 10 100 then it is known as the quantitative data analysis or quantitative research and if it is quality like you are conducting some interview you are asking uh, Few questions to the respondent, and they were responding. They were giving some statement. They were answering it in some words. Then that will be known as the qualitative. So, जहाँ पे exploratory आया, you will say it's a, it's it will be a qualitative type. जहाँ पे आपका descriptive and causal आया, it will be of quantitative type. So basically, uh, if we talk about the data, the type of data the researchers basically have, and for this uh, research methodology paper. we will basically use this quantitative study we will uh, you can have this quant qualitative type of study but basically our main focus will be on the quantitative because we will use the software spss and amos and for using this software you have to uh, you have to collect your data that should be uh, qualitative in nature sorry quantitative in nature what happened to this slide kaise itna short ho gaya अभी ठीक है विजिबल है क्लास यस यस मैम मैम ओके ओके सो द द द टाइप टाइप ऑफ ऑफ डेटा 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 रिसर्चर्स यूजुअली कलेक्ट इज़ बेसिकली प्राइमरी प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी सेकेंडरी आर ओरिजिनेटेड बाय रिसर्चर फॉर द स्पेसिफिक पर्पस so primary data is basically the data that you will collect for the problem you have whatever objective you have taken whatever the problem you have chosen so you will collect the data for for that particular objective for that particular problem means you will collect some fresh data for the as per the objective or as per the problem you have so that data will be known as primary data secondary data when you are using some other sources and Uh, you are you, you will be taking that data for your study then that is known as a secondary data secondary data is basically used in the finance finance or accounting subjects but in case of marketing in hr if you are conducting some study then uh, basically do your study is focused on this primary type of data or suppose you are conducting some study which is um, mainly focused on the sales sales of the company or something so you will get all these data from the company only sales of some some let's say reliance jio ya fir aap kisi automobile industry ka le liya tata and all so then the sales sales data last 10 years sales data then that data you will basically get from the company only so you will say this data is basically of secondary type primary data that you will collect you will make some questionnaire and you will collect directly from the respondent then that will be your uh, primary type of data so whatever study or whatever problem you have for this research methodology paper you will collect basically you will basically conduct the quantitative study and the data that you will use it will be mainly primary type of data you will not use the secondary data okay okay one more thing uh, suppose uh, i have done my study on compulsive buying so 
I have some data on this compulsive buying, compulsive buying behavior of adolescent or whatever. There is some student like Demon said, "Ma'am, we were doing, we will do our study, or the objective of our study is to uh, something about compulsivity and the, this uh, uh, pandemic and the compulsive buying behavior." So, if he will be using my data, if he will ask, "Ma'am, please provide some data for this compulsive buying," so that data will be uh, will be secondary data for him because he, I have. Already collected uh, this compulsive buying data for the purpose of my study. Now that data is with me. Now he will, if Demon asks for uh, that data, then that data will be secondary data for the team. Also, you cannot use like uh, I have collected that data for the adolescent, or I have collected that data uh, in respect to uh, like those adolescents for those adolescents who are under stress condition, those who have certain anxiety. So that is a condition. So if demon is using, then he can only use that data in that that respect only. If because the compulsive buying, I have compulsive buying data for the adolescent, and suppose demon is conducting some study for the compulsive buying of adults, so he cannot use that data. Okay, so objective means the whatever data. If you are using the secondary data, then. You should know that for what purpose that data is collected. If it is for for the same age group, for the same target market, then and only then you can use that secondary data. Otherwise, you have to collect some fresh data. That is known as the primary data. Clear? Class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, you know, Raj. Now the second is the comparison of primary and secondary data. You will compare the primary data and secondary data based on the purpose, process, cost, and time, which is basically known as PPCT. That is purpose, process, cost, and time. Now. the collection purpose when you will collect the primary data the problem for the problem at hand and if you are using the secondary data then the collection purpose for other for other problems we like the data is already been collected for some other problem and we are using that data but in case of primary data if you are collecting that data then that will be the problem at hand like the problem you have for for the for what purpose you are collecting that data second is collection process so collection process in case of primary data is very involved in case of secondary data it would be rapid and easy obviously aapke paas already bana banaya data and you will use that data but in case of primary data it is very involved how it is very involved because you have to firstly uh, select the variables then you have to make some questionnaires then you have to select your target market then you have to collect your data so it will involve lot of time money and all so that's why the uh, collection process for the primary data is very involved and in case of secondary data is simply rapid and easy collection cost primary data for is very high in case of secondary data it is relatively low as compared to this uh, primary data because suppose you are conducting some study and your study is based on sub, for for uh, all over india you are conducting the study for all the states in india so for that purpose you have to visit each state take each state map jao again you will collect your data so obviously it will uh, incur some traveling cost and other cost also so that's why the collection of primary data is very high collection cost uh, for primary data is very high but in case of secondary data it is relatively low collection time is long obviously you have to visit different states you have to contact each respondent respondent will take time by answering your question suppose you email your question i to different respondent they will take some time at the time of uh, responding or means one week two week time they will take to respond to your question or respond to your email so that's why the collection time for this primary data is very high but in case of secondary data it is already bana banaya data and you are using so that's why the collection time for this uh, secondary data is very short so Uh, this is the basic difference between the primary and secondary data that is based on the PPCT. That is uh, purpose. So for purpose problem at hand and for secondary data, it is used for other problems. Collection process, 
in case of primary data it is very involved but in case of secondary data it is very rapid and easy in case of collection cost in case of sorry collection cost in case of primary data is very high but in case of secondary data it is relatively low collection time is very high for the uh, primary data but it is a uh, uh, very short time for uh, secondary data so this is the basic difference between the primary and the secondary data ma'am uh, excuse me ma'am yes yes please मैम बहुत सारे बच्चे बच्चों ने ज्वाइन नहीं किया है तो वो लोग बोल रहे हैं कि अनलॉक करने मीटिंग नहीं नहीं मीटिंग अनलॉक नहीं करना अभी पता नहीं कौन क्लास में एंटर कर गया था दैट्स व्हाई आई लॉक द मीटिंग मैम सब 10 लोग हैं हां ऑलमोस्ट आधे बच्चे हैं मैम 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 5 मिनट्स के लिए अनलॉक कर लेते हैं मैम सारे ज्वाइन करने के बाद अगर कोई आता है एक्स्ट्रा तो हम निकाल भी सकते हैं ना मैम 5 मिनट्स के लिए मतलब देते हैं एक टाइम दो तीन मिनट में सारे ज्वाइन ही कर लेंगे वो तो टाइप करने में दो मिनट लगता है मैम इतना बड़ा आईडी मैम कोई है नहीं ना मैम वो आज सुबह सुबह थोड़ा लेट हो गया अरे ऐसे कैसे लेट हो गया मैडम जो है ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर चल के आ रहे हैं और आप लोग को घर बैठे बैठे लेट हो गया है लास्ट टाइम कंसिडर कर दीजिए मैम एक बार अनलॉक ओके मैम ओके मैं इन्फॉर्म कर लेता हूँ ग्रुप में सब ज्वाइन कर लेंगे अभी now the classification of the marketing research data so i have already discussed what is this primary data and what is this secondary data now primary data that you will collect either it will be of qualitative type or it will be of quantitative type so qualitative data i have already discussed what is qualitative data and what is quantitative data if you have a qualitative type of data then say uh, you are conducting some exploratory study or vice versa if you say uh, i am conducting some exploratory study or or my uh, research design is basically exploratory type then i will use this uh, qualitative data means exploratory then qualitative data or in reverse also you can say i have this qualitative data then you can say i am using uh, means i will be performing this exploratory study so exploratory yahan pe it means the qualitative or qualitative yahan hai it means it will be the exploratory type so uh, when your primary data is of qualitative type of data or if you have collected primary data which is very qualitative in nature means you are performing the exploratory design if you have this quantitative type of data then that would be basically of descriptive and this uh, causal research quantitative data if you have this quantitative if you have some number the data that involves some number then for that data you have to perform this descriptive and the causal for that uh, numbers or for that particular quantitative data you cannot perform this exploratory study so jahan pe exploratory aaya you will say you are performing the qualitative data or jahan pe qualitative data aaya you will say i am performing the or my research design is exploratory type of research design if you have स्टडी दट इज basically survey data or you will perform some observational technique we will discuss this descriptive study later on and this causal study later on so today we will discuss about the exploratory research design so basically this is the overall classification of marketing research data or simply agar hum marketing ko yahan se delete kar dete we simply say this is the overall study for the uh, research data secondary and primary primary is for the classified as qualitative and quantitative and this quanti if you have quantitative data then the, the type of research design, design that you will use that is descriptive and the causal then now the qualitative research procedures or in short or in other words you can say the, the how will you perform the exploratory research design as i said qualitative and the exploratory can be used interchangeably if i am saying qualitative it means ki wahan pe exploratory aa gaya और जहां पे अगर सपोज मैंने एक्सप्लोरेटरी बोला देन इट मींस कि वहां पे क्वालिटेटिव आ गया सो 
how will you perform this qualitative research or how will you perform this uh, exploratory research so basically uh, the qualitative research procedures are classified as direct or non disguised and second is indirect or disguised what is this direct and non disguised non disguised means whatever data you are collecting from your respondent whatever questionnaire you have given to your respondent the objective is known to the respondent like for what purpose the respondent is filling your questionnaire or respondent is answering to your question he you should know the objective or if if he if he uh, the, means agar usko respondent ko objective nahi pata hai then he can automatically uh, get some idea from the questions from the type of questions you are asking what what type of questions you are asking and then uh, from that question he will get some idea ki yes uh, that is that may be the purpose of the study that may be the objective of his study suppose somebody is doing a study on the pandemic and the consumer preferences so maybe the objective is known to the respondent or not but when the type of question you will ask like how are you feeling during this pandemic uh, uh, what problems you are facing during this pandemic so obviously the respondent will get some idea as this is the main purpose of asking the question so that is known as direct when you are directly asking uh, about your objective or about your problem and your objective is non disguised means this, uh, this respondent is aware about your objective then that is known as direct or non disguised type of qualitative study second type of qualitative study is basically indirect and disguised means you are indirectly here the respondent is unaware about your uh, this uh, objective or the problem you have they don't know for what purpose you are collecting your study for, for uh, you are collecting your data so that is known as indirect means you are indirectly you are collecting uh, some data from the respondent suppose if i directly ask you do you guys have uh, some stress or anxiety pill pills so obviously you will say no or maybe may i can ask some some personal questions to you so obviously every everybody will say no or whatever so for 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 that purpose of study for that objective in order to get some get some uh, data from you i'll ask some indirect questions and i will not tell It, that is the main purpose of my study suppose i want to measure the stress uh, stress of uh, let's say from your classroom stress level of each student in uh, bbm marketing uh, fifth semester so if if i ask some direct questions are you under stress condition do you have any anxiety depression yes so in that in that case everybody will say no i am not taking any kind of pills and all but so 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 to measure the stress i'll i'll ask them indirect questions so that is known as indirect or disguised means objective is not known to the respondent now what what procedures generally we follow in order to get the direct or non disguised is basically the focus group and second is the depth interviews second in in order to perform this indirect or disguised that there are certain techniques which are known as the projective techniques what are those projective techniques like association technique completion technique then we have this construction technique and the expressive technique so when there is a qualitative type of research procedure or when there is in some exploratory type of research procedure so there are two main types of procedures direct or non disguised or indirect and the disguised now this direct and non disguised is further classified as or what is the procedure for performing this direct or non disguised type of qualitative research so that is focus group and the depth interview and uh, what is the procedure for performing this indirect or disguised then that would be projective technique now under projective techniques these are the four different techniques so so firstly we discuss about this focus group what is this focus group and what is this direct and the non disguised so basically uh, focus group if if i'm talking about the focus group then it's 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 totally unstructured unstructured in the sense like very informal atmosphere will be there and focus group suppose uh, you want to conduct uh, the focus group on this pandemic or suppose you want to conduct uh, the effect of this pandemic on the consumer uh, on the consumer's life ya fir consumer uh, buying behavior anything so focus group is basically a group of 8 to 12 people will discuss about the topic so uh, if it 
group composition so group size should be means if you are performing some focus group uh, in a, to, to some some group of respondents then the group size for the size for that focus group it should be 8 to 12 then group composition is homogeneous mean uh, it should be of same age group ya yeah, fir occupation wise all should be same ya yeah, fir gender wise all should be same suppose i perform some study on the doctors Uh, doctors, uh, let's say um, pandemic situation, and I'm performing some study for the doctor. So whatever, uh, like homogeneous means the all the respondent in my focus group should be doctors. Or suppose if I want to conduct some focus group that contains the lady doctors. So in my this group composition should be homogeneous. It should contain all the lady doctors. As I said, I have given doctors to be shown police to be sat here, police wale ko bhi sat here. So your group composition should be homogeneous or jo bhi aapko objective hai accordingly. Suppose you want to perform some some focus group on uh, all the UG students. So UG student means it may be from BCom, DBM, or maybe BSc or from any other uh, specialization. But it should only contain the uh, UG student, not the PE. As any ki BBA or BM, BCom, all of these are. I have MBA ko bhi bata diya. So your group composition should be homogeneous. Then physical setting means very relaxed and informal atmosphere is there. Time duration usually one to three hours. Recording is use of audio cassettes and the video tapes, and there will be one moderator. who will be moderating the session who will make sure that ki whether the discussion is in the proper direction or not suppose we are uh, means uh, you have a group of 8 to 12 people and the uh, main agenda for the, for this uh, focus group is to uh, discuss about this pandemic and the consumer purchasing behavior but in a group the people are discuss about uh, some 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 fun activities yeah some suppose up last year kind trip pe gaye the we are discussing all this So that is the role of moderator to make sure that whether the discussion is in the proper direction or not. So moderator should be observational. Observational in the sense that he he will he or she will make sure that the all the respondents are participating or not. Suppose I have a group of let's say ten people. So all the participants are performing. All the participants are give have given their inputs or not. Then it should have interpersonal and the communication skills. Or communication skills mean whatever upka. जो भी लेट से कम्युनिकेशन इन द सेंस लाइक अगर आपका डिस्कशन हिंदी में चल रहा है देन द मॉडरेटर शुड बी गुड इन हिंदी इंग्लिश में ही शुड बी गुड इन इंग्लिश इफ इट इज इन लेट से उड़िया और एनी अदर लैंग्वेज देन ही शुड नो ही शुड हैव कमांड ऑन दैट लैंग्वेज इंटरपर्सनल स्किल बेसिकली यू कैन से ग्रुप डायनेमिक्स means he should be uh, like he should make a proper like there should not be any fighting group members agar aap usme fight kar rahe ho or some some hot discussion start ho gaya so in that case he has to manage them that is the role of the moderator like he should be observational he should have some interpersonal skills and communication skills of the moderator so that is all about the focus group like group size should be 8 to 12 group composition should be homogeneous physical setting relaxed and informal atmosphere time duration should be 1 to 3 hours recording use of audio cassettes and the video tapes basically and the moderator should be observational have interpersonal skill interpersonal and the communication skills now uh, this is a uh, procedure for uh, planning and conducting of focus group suppose you are you, uh, you are planning to have some focus group for the Uh, for for that objective of your study or for for some problem that you have chosen and for that purpose you want to conduct some focus group so what what procedures you should follow suppose somebody is somebody is doing like let's say pandemic se agar hatke baat kare so who is speaking so uh, basically uh, these are the procedures these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, eight steps you should follow before conducting this focus group. So, what are those steps? So, first step is determine the objective and define the problem. It, it is clear because if you want to perform some focus group, then you should have you you should precisely define your uh, problem, and from that problem you have to define your determine the objective. Like this is the objective of my study. this is the problem and from that problem this is the objective of my study i want to perform the focus group for this particular problem 
specify the objectives of your qualitative research obviously suppose again if we take the example of this pandemic and uh, consumer preferences so your study will basically focused on like like in last class we have discussed ki you have to identify the different variables you, you will identify the different variables and what is the purpose how will you uh, means what are the variables that will affect this pandemic and the consumer purchasing behavior so you you have done certain kind of literature review in order to identify that uh, that uh, that variable so again that is a kind of literature you have conducted some literature review so again it's a kind of you can say qualitative study so specify the here also because you are conducting some focus group you will get some idea you will get some statement you will get some words from the this uh, or the respondents view about the topic so you have to specify the objective of qualitative research like for what purpose uh, this focus group is being conducted suppose you want to identify a few more variables uh, that that you can use in your pandemic and this consumer purchase behavior so for that purpose what you will do you will make the group of 7 to 8 people or 7 to 8 respondent and the group should be homogeneous and then you will specify ki what, what things i am going to discuss like you want to know more variables uh, or you want to identify few more variables for the purpose of your study so that will be the specify the objective of the qualitative research you want to identify few more variables so that would be the objective of your qualitative research or that would be the objective of your uh, let's say focus group then state the objectives questions to be answered by the focus group so if you want to identify few more variables so you have to make few set of questions like these are the things uh, that should be discussed these are the few questions suppose you will make 8 to 10 questions or 8 to 10 points like all these points should be covered in my focus group so that is the state the objectives or questions to be answered by the focus group then you will write a screening questionnaire like whatever you have decided here in the step 3 you will write you will make a proper questionnaire a screening questionnaire then in the fifth step you will develop the moderator's outline you will define you will uh, moderator's outline like whoever will be, whoever will be your moderator you should know like these are the things these are the screening questionnaire these are the five things that we we, we are supposed to, uh, that i am supposed to uh, discuss it in the focus group then that is the moderator outline also moderator should know ki uh, means whatever the profile i have discussed like moderator should have, should should be a good observer he should be have a good communication skill interpersonal skill so all these things should be communicated to the moderator like you are moderating this particular session so uh, these are the things and that you should make you make sure that these things should be uh, discussed in uh, this focus group then you will conduct the focus group interviews review tapes and analyze the data means um, there will be some video recording or audio recording so at last the researcher will review tapes and they will he will he or she will analyze the data whatever information they are get during this focus group he, he will he or she will just analyze it and summarize the findings and plan follow up research or action so accordingly whatever suppose some somebody have discussed about this pandemic and consumer purchasing behavior so there may be the possibility of getting few more one or two more variables so again you will summarize you will uh, you will uh, go through the audio recording or you will go through the video recording and then you will uh, come up with like ki these are the two new variables that that i obtained from this uh, this focus group so you can use those variables in your uh, study you can say i have conducted this focus group and from that focus group i have identified two new variables so you can use that so these are the eight different steps for conducting the focus group first is identify the objective and define the problem then firstly your research objective and research problem then second you will come up with your qualitative study because focus group is basically qualitative so you have to specify the objective of your qualitative study now what are the questions and the answers to be uh, questions to be answered by the focus group then you will make the screening questionnaire you will develop the moderators outline then you will conduct the focus group interviews you will review tapes and analyze the data and finally you will summarize the finding and a follow up action or follow up research or action should be taken so that is all about this procedure for uh, planning and conducting of focus group yes pritam 
मम्मा कल हम लोग का क्लास कैंसिल है क्या अच्छा ओके एनी डाउट नहीं मैम वो तो लाइक इसलिए वो नागमणी मैम बोली कल एक हम लोग का सप्लाई आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट दिस फोकस गर्ल नहीं डाउट नहीं मैम अभी तक आपके दिमाग में ये चल रहा था कि कल की क्लास कैंसिल है या नहीं मैम एक मेल आया तो इसलिए मैम मैं पूछा आपको हां कल की क्लास कैंसिल है जी मैम वो कल की क्लास कैंसिल हो रही है दैट्स व्हाई आज उसका मेकअप क्लास है आज ओके मैम थैंक यू now uh, these are the variations in the focus group or you can say different types of uh, focus group first is two way focus group dual moderator group then dwelling moderator group then we have this respondent moderator group mini group specialization groups or the online focus group so first is two way two way focus group means this allows one target group to listen to and learn from the uh, related group for example a focus group of physician viewed a focus group of arthritis patient discussing the treatment they desired so you will make two different focus groups like let's say uh, there will be some uh, focus group on group of physicians or group of doctors who were discussing about uh, some some treat uh, some some disease let's say they were discussing about the corona or covid 19 or let's say they were discussing about the arthritis and there will be the patients so there were two groups and uh, they were one group is discussing and other is listening so that is known as a two way focus group means there will be one or maybe uh, if there are some covid 19 patients or corona patients and they were discussing something like what they feel what is their mental condition during when they were in quarantine or isolation so they were discussing this the doctors were listening them. or maybe doctors were uh, discussing some topic and the related patients were discuss uh, were listening them so that is known as a two way focus group then we have a dual uh, moderator group in the dual moderator group a group a focus group conducted by two moderators one moderator is responsible for the smooth flow of the session and the other ensures that specific issues are discussed so that is dual moderator if your focus group has a two different moderators then it is known as dual moderator one will ensure ki whether the uh, specific issues are discussed or not whatever agenda whatever screening uh, questionnaire we have whatever 10 10 set of questions we have whether all those have discussed or not and the other will ensure that ki everything is working properly or not mic is working properly or not everybody is uh, participating in uh, this focus group or not whether the video recording or audio recording is in a proper manner or not so all this thing all the other activities that is uh, uh, taken by this uh, second second moderator then we have a dwelling moderator group these are the two moderators but they deliberately take opposite positions on the issues to be discussed let's say uh, uh, there are the two objectives or let's say in case of two way focus group there may be one moderator here in this group and there may be one moderator here in this group so in dwelling moderator what will happen firstly when they were discussing this something so he is the moderator then this group will discuss so, there will be some interchange of moderator they will interchange the responsibility or like in the dual moderator there are the two two moderators like one one ensure that ki there should be a uh, smooth smooth flow of session and other ensures that specific issues are discussed so uh, they will interchange their positions like uh, one will uh, go for this specific issue and other will go for this uh, smooth flow of session so that is known as a dwelling moderator dual moderator there will be two moderator dwelling again there will be two but they will interchange their positions then we have a respondent uh, moderator group a respondent moderator when a moderator asks selected participant to play the role of moderator temporarily to improve group dynamics suppose uh, i want to conduct some focus group uh, from your class so i'll choose 8 to 10 student and from that 10 student i'll ask someone to uh, moderate the to moderate this particular session so that is also known as respondent moderator group then we have a mini group the group consists of only four or five respondent see the ideal size for uh, conducting any kind of focus group is basically 8 to 12 but sometimes a uh, take small small or very short time short time duration ke liye you will conduct this uh, 
focus group then that is known as a mini group and it would contain only four or five respondents then daily session group or online both are almost same daily session is focus group session by using phone or conference call online is also almost same when when we are conducting some focus group on internet so it would in current scenario both are same daily session groups and the online focus group are almost similar so these are the different types of two way focus group dual moderator group then dwelling moderator group then respondent moderator group mini groups daily session groups or online group so these are the different types of focus group so for what we have discussed we have discussed about the uh, different types of data that is secondary data and the primary data then i have classified this uh, primary data in two different parts that is your qualitative and the quantitative i said if 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 your data is qualitative then it should be explored you should use exploratory research design or vice versa if i say you are using the exploratory research design then the type of data you have it should be qualitative in nature then the quantitative data is basically your uh, this uh, uh, sorry quantitative data should be uh, either if you have a quantitative data then you should either use the descriptive research design or the causal research design now come to uh this uh, qualitative uh, research design or qualitative research if you are performing the qualitative research then it has two different procedures what was those procedures it should be either disguised direct or non disguised or indirect or disguised so if you are performing this direct or non disguised then you will perform this focus group and uh, depth interview and in case of indirect or disguised you will perform this projective techniques is it clear